Hey folks, Robbie Payne with Chrome Unboxed and we wanted to do a quick video to showcase an upcoming feature that should be rolling out within the next Chrome OS update. So right now we're seeing this happen on Chrome OS beta in 64. So whenever stable hits 64, hopefully this feature will come along. And what we're talking about today is the ability to actually run Android apps side by side simultaneously. So right now, if you'll take a look here, I'm running the Pixelbook on the stable channel. So we're in 63 here. I've got the Acer Chromebook 15 in uh, the beta channel, which is on 64. And in your Android developer settings, I'll show you where to get to that in just a second you can actually turn on the ability for Android apps to run in parallel and not pause state in the background. So over here on 63, we're getting pause state. And I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So say I'm running a game right here, okay? I'm gonna start this and you see the animation's kind of moving. As soon as I tap her to actually move her and then click away, the game stops. I can go into here and play, but the minute I click outside of that window, pause game. Now, even more kind of frustrating is when I go back that's actually let me stick for a minute. If I move back over here, probably long enough. So let's, we'll, we'll start this and we'll start recording for instance. When I come back over here, you see the animation pause here. And it's not pausing now. Earlier when I was doing this, it actually would pause the game and force you to, to actually hit resume. Uh, it would do this automatically. So it's going to do that uh, with different things. It's going to pause states in different ways. And so, um, for people coming to Chrome OS from something like Windows or Mac OS and they open up an Android app and they open it up in a window like this, you would expect fully for the thing to just keep running in the background, it, regardless of whether I click on it or not. And so that's just one of the things Android does on phones to save battery. Well, you don't really want that on a desktop. And so we've seen signs that that was going to stop and we're actually seeing that come through now. And so over here, we've got the same apps running. Okay, I'm gonna do the same exact thing. So we're, we're playing a little bit of, uh, Monument Valley here, but I'm also gonna play some Temple Run. And you see everything's still moving. And I can play over here, and if you really wanna play two games at one time, hey, you can go for it. Um, and I obviously can't really play both of these, so I'm probably just gonna let him jump off the cliff there. Uh, meanwhile, we're gonna be recording our session so that we can play this stuff back later. For me, one of the best things that this is able to do is something like Google Analytics. I can have uh, running over here real time and every time I move away from it, it's not gonna reset my screen or freeze. I'm not gonna put our analytics up here for everybody to look at, but you can kind of see that over here, we've got stuff running real time. Um, and no matter whether I switch apps or not, everything's still running. And this isn't the most powerful Chromebook in the world and it's handling these things pretty much just fine. So I imagine uh, on a Pixel Book or something like that, we're gonna be able to run all sorts of different things all at the same time. And what that's gonna give everyone is a better overall app experience. So whenever they're going to use and open up multiple Android apps uh, to use on the desktop, whenever they move away from them, you're not gonna lose the uh, ability to keep that app uh, running in the foreground because sometimes you know if you're working on a graphics intensive thing or you're working on a word document and you move away and it pauses state and maybe it doesn't save you're gonna lose that work and so this is a massive step in the right direction for Chrome OS uh, Android apps specifically so it's gonna make all this stuff feel a lot more native. So if you're interested in trying this out, uh, first you need to move your Chromebook over to the beta channel uh, which is pretty simple. Go to your settings over here, you're gonna go about Chrome OS, detailed build information and channel. You're gonna hit change channel and you're gonna select beta. It'll download it, prompt you to restart and you'll be in beta channel. You won't lose anything moving to beta. Uh, we've covered this before, but if you come back from beta to stable, it will wipe your device. So uh, know that going in uh, beforehand. If you go to Google Play Store at that point, um, and click Google Play Store again, and then manage Android preferences, you get your Android screen. What you'll need to do is go to the bottom under about device, and then click your build number, now saying I'm already a developer, but if you click it, I don't know, like 10 times or something, it'll start counting down and say, hey, you're a developer, which for most of us, no, we're not really a developer, but it gives you your developer options at that point. Click into developer options, scroll all the way to the bottom, and there's this new thing, enable parallel running of tasks. Keep visible task running when losing focus. Turn that bad boy on, close your settings, and you'll be able to do everything we just talked about. So yeah, that's it guys. If you like this, uh, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and until next time, we'll see you.